All right, guys, what's going on? So, uh, I was sitting here thinking, you know, what's the best vape shop in Pensacola? Are there, is one vape shop, say, better than another? And for me to say if one store is better than another, these are also my suggestive uh, opinions. So, my opinion is going to probably widely different from everybody else's on who has the better hardware, who has the better juice, who has the cheapest this and that and the other. Now, I could put this video out and, you know, <laughs> put it out and tomorrow go out in the public and be like, that's the guy that said da -da 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 about my business. And this, this is, I mean, this isn't a slandering. This isn't none of that kind of shit. This is just literally me as a vapor living in this town saying who has the best of this and who do I think in my opinion is the best. So there is no slander. There is, I'm not throwing somebody under the bus. I'm just literally just going to point it out there. And maybe my suggestion will be like, well, damn, maybe we should start doing this differently or start doing that differently. So let's start off with, you know, the first vape store. Let's talk about Pensacola Vape right there by my wife's work by Hungry Howie's. All right. Now, this store is probably going to be the lowest on my list. And I'll tell us why. You know, I go in there for a simple unicorn bottle so I could take this ginormous bottle and put it in a unicorn bottle. And God, this was months and months ago. And the person behind the counter is like, oh, we don't sell those, but our one on Beverly does, which the one on Beverly is the same store, just bigger. And I'm like, so, you know, I don't want to have to go all the way to Beverly Parkway just to get a unicorn bottle, so forget it. You know, then I call up to that same store, and for some reason, their phones are linked to Beverly. So I call, and I'm like, hey, do y'all have this coil or something? You know, because I had a tank that had an odd coil. They're like, yeah, 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 we got it. Not knowing that who I was really talking to was somebody at Beverly Parkway. So I run out of the vape store that's literally, what, a couple minutes down the street. So I get down there, and I'm like, yeah, I need the coil for, uh, I think it was some kind of snow wolf tank or something. And they're like, no, we don't have that. Beverly does. I'm like, well, I just called y'all. and Okay. Um, they're a very small store. They have no juice selection. And they barely have a hardware selection. So that's a store that I don't really eh, go to. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about Dr. Vape It. Now, I will go to Dr. Vape It whenever I'm in a pinch and I can't afford a bottle of juice or whatever. You know, usually this bottle right here is going to run me about 20 bucks. I go to uh, Dr. Vape It whenever I can afford juice because they got like $10 juice, $8 juice. Um, and their juices are kind of hit and miss, and some of the people there are very, very nice, no matter if it's the one on Davis or Pine Forest. They're really, really nice. They've always been nice. Um, they have a good selection of coils and stuff, and they have it where you can, like, you know, eat and drink in there and play pool and stuff, but as far as hardware goes, they are still limited to hardware, you know, so either, you know, that's a place that you want to go in Pensacola if you want to go to get a budget juice. That's a place to go. Now, let's talk about MGM, um, the vape store right there in Cantonment. They're good. They're kind of like Dr. Vape It. Sometimes they have coils that actually other places don't have. But a couple of times what I've dealt with, customer service is phenomenal, by the way. Their hardware selection is minimal, but their juice selection is off the chart. But the one problem I have with like a shaken vape like them and then Dr. Vape it and stuff, they kind of tend to, like the one in Cantonment I'm talking about, they, uh, a lot of their stuff will burn your throat. I don't know if it's the nicotine they put in it, because I know different nicotines are in different shaken vapes like that. So, you know, they do have good coil selections and good prices. It's just, you know, their juices are a little harsh, in my opinion. Now, let's talk about, say, Chuck and Clouds. Now, that was the one store that I actually went to to get the Snow Wolf that nobody else in Pensacola had. Nobody in Pensacola had this coil except for Chuck and Clouds, and I really do commend them for that. Now, like I said, all this I'm talking about is suggestive, but I'm a customer, and I've literally went to every single one of these shops 
you know, <laughs> at least throughout the month, I'll go to them a, a couple different times. And the customer service is good. They do have a pretty good selection on juice and hardware. Um, I just don't particularly go in there just because it's not my favorite, favorite store. But Chuck and Cloud is one of those ones that they might have a coil sitting back somewhere for an older device. Now, I saved the last two or places because those are kind of the top places now let's talk about liquid haze which is over there by the campus now as far as hardware goes if you want a place that has probably the most hardware in pensacola go to uh liquid haze they got literally rows and rows of hardware the most hardware i've actually seen in pensacola uh if you want hardware go there they got they got pod systems or yeah i mean you name it they got it Tips, glass, O-rings, I mean, replacement, coils, all that. Now, the only thing I have against, or the thing I don't like about Liquid Haze, is one thing. <clears throat> Liquid Haze is very, very pricey on their juices. Now, I don't hold that against them. I really don't. All this is subjective coming from an actual person that shops at, have, have shopped, at every one of these stores. <clears throat> now, their juices are kind of pricey. Let's just take this thing, a lemonade, uh, lemonade I got right here. This is a, what, 100 mil bottle? This bottle at Liquid Haze would probably cost somewhere around, last time I went in there to get a bottle this size of something around like this, it was about 24, about 25, $26. Which you might not say, hey, that's not bad, not bad, right? But, like I said, good hardware, really high-priced juice. I guess they do that because of the college next door. So, I mean, if you're going to college, honestly, if you're going to college and you're getting a tuition and you're old enough to vape, I guess they could charge an extra high price because um, they could do it because I guess that's how they got. I don't know. That's just my opinion, okay? Now, let's save literally the best place for last. And that's going to be Bat Vapor is going to be probably, everybody that knows me knew what my, my biggest one was going to be is Bat Vapor. No, 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 no. Now, Bat Vapor, they don't have a big selection on, on mods and stuff like this. Like I said, that crown goes to the Liquid Haze for having the most hardware. But if you want the best priced juice in town, seriously, this is the bottle that I got over there. This bottle was barely $20. Compared to about 26 ouch, over there at Liquid Hay. So you're saving $6. That's the price of a coil. You know, so my most favorite place in Pensacola is going to be Bat Vapor. Yeah, the hardware is not the biggest selection. But they do have a pretty wide variety of juices. And the people there are really, really nice. They are super, super nice. They're a little... I think there's only... Let's see... Yeah, there's only one bat vapor in Pensacola that I know of. Yeah, because every time I go in there, I'm like, hey, y'all need to really expand another store. So I mean, for your best juices, go to um go to Bat Vapor to get the best juices. If you want to get the best hardware, go to Liquid Haze. If you want to get the cheapest juice, go to Dr. Vape It. So every store has its own little thing. Go to Chuck and Clouds to get that coil that somebody else might not have. You know, so those are just a few of the places that I've actually frequent a lot in Pensacola. So, agree to disagree. I don't want to put this video out and then go out there tomorrow and have a damn lynch mob or something or go into a store and be like, you're the guy that said this about my video. Yeah, but every store has its flaws. Every store has its things. One store has better juice. One store has better hardware. Every store has its thing, but my favorite store is Bat Vapor. That's just all there is to it. This is my opinion. It's all suggest suggestive or whatever. So thank you all for watching. Tell me what your favorite place is. So let's not start a lynch mob. Let's just start a conversation. We're all here to vape. I gave pretty much, you know, different stores, different things, you know. So thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all in another best of video.